So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to add artwork to the Just Play build. Um, now, to be honest with you, this is something that wasn't designed to have artwork. It was designed to just just play, um, hence the name. And if you stay tuned in this video, I'm going to cover how to add this artwork, as well as give you a, a look at a Patreon-only release of Plug and Play, which I think is fantastic. And if you love the artwork look, you will love the plug and play. So stay tuned to the video and let's get started. Welcome to his hat. Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how you can add thumbnails, screenshots, and all that good stuff to Just Play. Um, basically, I designed this to be as small as possible, but with as many games as possible. However, some people aren't familiar with some of the games and they're like, well, I would like to see a screenshot or a box art and things of that nature so that they know what kind of game they're getting into. So I'm going to show you quickly here. I'll use a small system as an example, but I'll show you how you can download thumbnails for the ROM lists. So basically, the first thing you want to do is go to the rec RetroArch menu and we're going to go to Online Updater and we'll go to playlist thumbnails updater. So I'm going to do a small system as an example. I'll do Sega 32X. And this is just going to automatically download some artwork for the games. Now, mind you, not all games get artwork sometimes. Um, and some of these have been renamed as far as like English translated from Japanese. Uh, you may not get the artwork for them but I can show you later in this video how you can add them yourself if you can source them online. So now that we've updated our system and you can go ahead and do it for any system that you want to do it for, we'll go back, back, we're going to go to the settings menu and we're going to come all the way down to user interface, appearance, and then we'll scroll down until we get to the thumbnails option. So here's thumbnails, they are off right now. So you can do screenshots, title screens, box arts, whichever you prefer. So I'll do screenshots. Once we set that, we'll go back, back, and then let's head over to Sega 32X. And you can see here, so Afterburner did not get one, uh, but Amazing Spider-Man did. So some games get them and some games don't. It's a little hit or miss. Uh, but this build was not designed to include any artwork. It was meant to be, like I mentioned, as many games as possible with, with a small footprint. Um, I do have a Patreon-only build, and this is not me trying to get anyone to, like, please support me on Patreon. Like, I, I really appreciate the support, um, but I just want to mention that there is one coming up called Plug and Play for Patreon only. And uh, I will leave a brief clip in this video near the end where you guys can check that one out, see if you like it. And anyone who supports me on Patreon, I'm greatly appreciative and it really helps my channel grow. But I'll show you right now how you can add missing artwork to this build. So let's say you wanted to add a box art to a missing game. So Afterburner didn't have any artwork there. So what you would want to do is in the Just Play folder, you'll want to go into the Thumbnails folder, go into the system that you're missing artwork, and we have Box Arts, Snaps, and Titles. So I would go into Box Arts. Now these look a little bit different from what I'm using, but you would want to find something very similar and just take the image you want, copy, and let's paste it in there. And you would have to do this for each game, so it, it's a bit of a task, but I mean, for anyone looking to add artwork, this is kind of the way you've got to do it. Um, then you want to launch your Just Play one more time. And because I added a box art and not a screenshot, I'm just going to go to my settings, user interface, appearance, and I'm going to change my thumbnails to box arts. So now I'll go over to my 32X that was missing artwork. 
and there it is. And you can add whatever artwork you so choose, but you can see any game missing, you'll have to go through and add, and because there's so many games in this build, um, it's going to be uh, a tedious task, uh, to say the least. But this is how you would go about it. I wish I had an easier method. I, I'm not going to go through and create artwork packs for this build um, because it wasn't designed for that and because I'm putting so many hours into the Patreon only plug and play build that's kinda where I'm going with all of the artwork so speaking of plug and play let's go ahead and take a look at that and check it out so this is plug and play um, you can see the main menu you get for your wheel art you're actually using controllers I really like the look um, you get each system popping up. And so far, you can see what I'm working on here. Um, so if we were to go do Nintendo 64, I love these themes. And I'm going to give the proper shoutouts when I do the release video on Patreon. Uh, but basically, it's plug and play because the carts plug into the system, no matter what system you choose. So I've done 3D box art. Uh, wheel snap and cart art for each and every game. I'm going through with a fine tooth comb and making sure. Uh, this does have Japan translated releases, so they're English as well as it has Europe exclusives and you get your North American ROM sets. Um, this is a much larger build than just play, um, but I wanted to do this one because I, I just think it looks phenomenal. These themes really, really got my creative juices flowing and I really wanted to get this done. So here is the 32X. And again, you're getting your box art, wheel snap, and your cart goes into the system. Uh, here is TurboGrafx, same thing. So the TurboGrafx Hue cards go into the TurboGrafx console. And I've added quite a few PC Engine games in here. Um, mostly translated to English and the ones that are a little bit Japanese believe me they are certainly enjoyable and you won't have any issues getting through the menu systems or the gameplay. I'll switch over to Neo Geo. I just look I just love these themes I, I can't get enough of them. Quickly show you it's like a master system and again with all 3D box art things of that nature and the carts plugging right into the console. Here is Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive because we do have translated games as well as European releases only. And you can see a lot of the cart art, it, it keeps its original look um, as close as possible. Here is Atari 2600, this one I'm currently working on. I'm basically only missing some video snaps right now. I uh, love the wheel art on this one as well as the console. So that is Atari 2600. And then we go back to Super Nintendo. And this is going to be separated. So there will be a separate Super Famicom design. Right now I just tested everything with Super Nintendo, but there will be a Super Famicom theme. And it will be English translated only, as well as any Japanese games you can get through without having any issues, as far as like understanding menu systems or gameplay and stuff like that. So anything text heavy, if it's not English translated, it won't be included. And back to Nintendo 64. So that is plug and play, and this is a Patreon only release. And again, if you don't want to be a Patreon, I understand. Um, this will be a Patreon only from here on out. It will not be a public release. So let's get back to Just Play and my final thought. So in closing, this is how you add artwork to the Just Play build. Um, with how many games are missing with just this little bit of 33 games here, 33, 34 games, it, it seems a little bit tedious and it would be. And I, I mean, for me... I would just leave it without artwork because it just you can go ahead and just play um, which was kind of the design in mind with this build uh, but for anyone that does want to add artwork this is how you do it so I really appreciate you guys watching please hit that like button subscribe to the channel but most importantly have a good day